Hi, this is Jeremy Morgan, and I'm creating a few how-to videos for MySQL on YouTube here. And I thought I'd start with the very beginning, which is creating a database and creating some tables in the database. It's actually quite a bit easier than you might think. Now what I have set up on here is I have a local MySQL server that's running through XAMPP. And I'll put the link in the comments to get XAMPP as well as the uh, MySQL Workbench, which is what we're going to be using today. Both products are free. The MySQL Workbench is a very powerful tool that is available for free on the MySQL website. It allows you to work with databases in a GUI format. And so that's what I've decided to use today because I think this is probably what beginners will want to use the most. Now the first thing we want to do is open a connection to start querying. Now as I said, I have a local server, so the host name is 127.0.0.1. And I have it set up so the username is root and the password is blank. So we'll just click OK. And as I said, the password's blank, so we'll click OK right here. Now here it brings up all the databases that are on my database server, some of my personal projects I have here. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to create a new one. So what we do is right click down here below the databases where it says Create Schema. Now schema and database are interchangeable, so we'll just call them schema from here on out. Let's create the schema. Now a window pops up, and we'll give it a name. YouTube. Now comments are just comments for you. And I put in uh, just kind of a short description and a name, and we'll press Apply. There's our SQL statements, Create Schema If Not Exists, YouTube Demo. And we want to click on Apply SQL. Following tasks will now be executed. Please monitor. And we click Finish. And we can go ahead and close this window and we will select our YouTube demo. Now the first thing you'll notice is there's a list of tables here and that's going to be our next step is we want to create a table. Now for our demo we're just going to create a simple table with a name, address, and such. So we want to right click on tables and select create table. In here I generally use leave these blank as far as schema default and the engine server default. As you get more advanced with MySQL, you will want to change those possibly for different configurations. So our new table, we'll call it members. Now I've gone down here and select columns. The first thing we want to do is create an ID column. And what this is, is a unique identifier for each record. And it it's simply a unique number and we can actually use the database engine to increment that number so it gives a unique one to each new person that we add here. So we'll call this one members ID. And the data type is going to be integer. And this is the uh, primary key and that just means that it's going to be a key that's unique that can't be duplicated. So if there's a number, say number 505, there will only be one ID 505 so you can bring up any of that information later without worrying about it bringing up duplicate information. Not null means that we cannot insert a null value into it. That means you have to put something in there. And AI is the next one. It's auto incremental. We will want to check that one. And what that means is every time we'll insert a new record it will increment this number and add it. And I double click down below and we'll enter the next field in the table, which is member name. Now for this, there's a few different fields we'll want to use. For this one, I'm going to use a VARCAR, 255 characters for the member name. And we'll double click again for member address. And we'll use the same data type for that one. That gives us 255 characters 
They'll be either numbers or letters. And they shouldn't be more than that for what we're putting in here. We'll put in a member phone for a phone number. Obviously, a phone number at the most can be 10 digits. So what we can do is put a bar car. We'll put in 24. And we'll leave it at that. And for this one, we'll put in member state. And a member zip. And this will create our first table. I want to click apply. Now here it'll show the SQL that we would have written if we were doing this by hand from the console. This is what we would have typed in in order to create the same table. And so we want to go to apply SQL and then finish. Now if you right click and select refresh all we see the members table is available. Now here's the first thing we can do. Select select star and see if there's anything in the table which of course we know there won't be. And this is how you create a general table. In my next video I'll show how to insert some data into it and how to pull data out of it. As you can see in the software it will show the member table, the name, address, phone, state, zip, and the different fields. So if you want to add fields or you can alter the table, um, you can add or subtract fields or change it at any time in here and it will be applied in the database. So I hope this is somewhat helpful and I will see you in the next video.